Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Jersey Comic Crew. In this episode, we are breaking down all the theories, all the speculation after WandaVision episode four. Come on inside to Westview. Hi guys, Robert Chris here from the Jersey Comic Crew. And Chris just said, this is your speculation video. We're going to take the information we got from WandaVision episode four and try to figure out what exactly is going on in that universe and to see what we think is going to happen on episode five and beyond. So this is your spoiler warning. To talk about this stuff, we're going to talk about what happened in the last episodes. So be prepared. Now, Chris, the first thing we need to touch upon is, you know, Wanda's losing her mind, right? Obviously, she's creating this world. And the main thing I want to talk about is Vision, right? So mm -hmm. Vision, we saw Vision's dead body. I told you, spoilers. Yeah. We saw Vision's yeah. dead, dead body, like, walking. Obviously, there's something there either in him and also Wanda's creating, right? So w his husk is walking around like like his life is gone. Mm -hmm. But there's still a part of Vision that's figuring out what's going on and everything is not right. We can see that he is troubled by what's going on by Wanda. He, you know, he says, we can leave. We should leave. We don't have to stay here. We can do this. And Wanda's like, no, I got this under c control. And we see his face has changed back. Mm -hmm. Now, that brings up the question, is Vision's soul still there? Is he alive? Is he dead? Is this just the automaton? Is this just a corpse that Wanda's controlling like a puppet? Now, I I have a lot on this topic, but I think mm -hmm. after sitting down and you know I'm, I'm, I'm digesting what they gave us, I think that is just the robot vision, right? That is vision, the robot walking and doing as it can with the intelligence that it does have built in there, just like the AI. But the soul of Vision, what Wanda fell in love with, that's not there. Hence the missing hole in him. There's a little hole inside this man that's his heart, but it's in his head, right? That's where the soul mm -hmm. stone was. And Wanda's just using that to be a puppet to fulfill her fantasies. That's my bet. And that's what I think is happening with, you know, Wanda and Vision. I I agree with some of that. I think it's way darker. Oh, I think, darker. I think we are down. going down a, a rabbit hole of Wanda's mental scape it's a rabbit. of her of her yeah of her reality of her okay. actual reality and I think we got confirmation on that with that look that we talked about in the breakdown episode mm -hmm. of where it cuts and you just see that dark realization over her, her face like stern stoic and also face. yeah and also why she's fighting so hard to keep this ruse up I think and this is a bold prediction I'm ready. I think by the by the end of this series Whenever we finally break down through this, you know, shield and we see what's really going on in this town, I think we're going to see Wanda in like an abandoned house somewhere in this town with the dead vision corpse, her drawn and weeping and crying, looking completely insane. Oh, and I think somehow either she tried to put the Mind Stone back into vision and it didn't work and in her anger possibly broke it with her powers. Oh, and she is trying desperately to put it back together, and she oh. can't. And that is what, like, her powers mixed with the Mind Stone, whatever, that is what's activating this vision consciousness. She could feel it somewhere, but she just can't get it to connect with the body of vision. Like, there's shards of it that are connected to it, but it's yes. not complete. It's oh, it's like it's like a computer, like, you know, the monitor's not fully connected to the, the motherboard type deal. Like, it's you're getting like power but you're not seeing anything and i think okay. we're gonna when it's broken she is going to be this sad like this sad woman just weeping in a dark house so looking completely insane that's dark i thought you were gonna go a step darker and a step darker theory that i thought you were gonna say was that uh everybody in the town is dead and she's reanimating their corpses I don't and think that's so. why we have mephisto there and everybody else because you know you're dead everybody here is dead and, like, their souls are trapped and, like, their minds are trapped mm, because Wanda's freaking out. I thought you were going to take it that dark road. I don't think that's what's happening, yeah. but I thought that's what you were going to say. So I got a little scared. Yeah, no, I don't think that's the case. I don't think everyone's dead because I think we've seen people in it. And, like, another little tiny thing is we see Agnes in the last episode talking to Herb. Mm -hmm. And 
Herb seems to be just a guy, as we saw with like an ID. Just a normal guy, yeah. It seems like Agnes is kind of like letting certain people in on what's going on and being like, you need to be calling me to do this and do this. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think these people are dead. They could, if they really push the Mephisto thing, they could all be dead and that will be even darker. That would be scary. But it's, this is going to be a dark, unhappy ending. And also remember, it's going to be the first act of this three act story that she is a part of. I just don't, I don't think it's going to be that dark. I think. I think it's going to be upsetting, sure, but I don't think it's going to end on such a sour note because mm-hmm. that's just not the MCU kind of style. But, hey, they could change this and be like, hey, listen, we have some dark stuff. You better be ready. Yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to talk a little bit about, well, actually, this was, this was your point. You were talking to me and expressed it to me that you have a funny feeling about a certain character. Who is that exactly? Yeah, director Hayward. Uh, very odd character. I don't trust him. I don't get a good feeling from him. Mm-hmm. And here's why. So when we find out Monica worked for S.W.O.R.D. And three weeks after the blip, we get the timeline, right? So Hulk blips everybody back in Endgame. Three weeks after that, Monica's back to work and WandaVision's taking place only three weeks after all that happened. Yeah. So we have this scenario where Monica goes back to her job. We know Maria Rambo started S.W.O.R.D. Mm-hmm. When Monica gets in and she doesn't have clearance, that doesn't make sense to me. If your mother created this entire facility, there's no way in hell you should not be able to walk well, in there. Hear me out. Like if like the key card that she had, right? Mm-hmm. And like she's been missing so long, they probably deactivated it because they know scrolls are a thing, right? So they Possibly. maybe they're like, oh, maybe that's a scroll coming back after so long. We have to get her vetted out and checked. So maybe it's just a a precautionary thing. They don't want to have another shield fiasco. So that is not really Mm -hmm. my, my, not my point on why I feel weird. It's the, the way he talks to people and maybe just very military like style, Mm -hmm. like running a mission, but he he seems arrogant, almost like desperate to know what's going on. Yeah. And I feel like he has more of a stake in this than we actually think. Right. Cause I think he's connected to Mephisto. I, Oh, 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 we just shut my mouth up. <laughs> why why Mephisto? Because Mephisto is the devil, for those of you who don't know. We've been harping on it for like eight weeks, so no I devil. would hope you know. I why? I think there's a there's a track possibility of, again, there's a big question of how is he the last person for this job, right? They, they kind of make this kind of side almost comment with Monica of like, you know, Oh, I thought you were the perfect man for the job. And he's like, You mean the last person? And he's like, She's like, Yeah, because no one else is there. Why is there no one else there for the job? The blip. He's all, but they, everyone was blipped back. Everyone was blipped back. So I, I don't understand why he's the last person for the job and the fact that, you know, Monica clearly doesn't think he's the right person for this job. I also think he thinks Monica's a threat. I think there's a big possibility that Hayward made a deal with the devil, with Mephisto. <sighs> To oh. be the director of Sword, and he's threatened by Monica, kind of coming oh. back. And he was be- the director of Sword when the blip happened, and like got all these promotions. Somehow became this guy. What if he had to send and Monica there because that's what Mephisto wanted? Mephisto exactly. wanted okay. Monica there. And when you do a deal with Mephisto, right? He gives you the deal, but there's all this like crazy stuff. Oh. He's not gonna tell you that Monica may come back and ruin your life. You know what I mean? Like like the the daughter of the person who created this entire facility is going to come back. Like I'll so, take care of the one Rambo, but you know the other exactly. one's on you. Well, here's one thing I want to touch upon, right? Uh, and I have a theory for this. Cool. Another reason this episode gets kicked off, like Agent Wu is there because he has a missing person in the town, right? Who is in yes. their federal witness protection program. The WPP, if you know me, right? And I'm like, now we're all sitting there like, who is that person? When they're doing the board, right? There's some people they're figuring out. I have a theory. I think I know who the person is. I think that person is Dottie. Oh, interesting. So the reason I think it's Dottie is we see them figuring everybody else out. And Dottie has some good screen time. They figured out Dottie's husband. It's a weird guy with the nose. And he has yep. the mustache. And <laughs> then, these earrings make me look fat guy? Like, yeah, no, exactly. God, the power but went out. You don't find Dottie, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, why why not Dottie? And Agnes says Dottie is the key to everything in this town, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's strange. What if, hear me out, mm-hmm. Agnes is encouraging and enticing Wanda to go a little mad to create this play to get to Dottie 
Because what if Dottie is not just a human? What if Dottie's a superhero? Or what if Dottie has some powers that they want access to? So here's my thing with the power set, which I was thinking about this too. And number one, this is to me the biggest question of this episode, if not the series slash phase four moving forward. Because one, that's how they got Jimmy Woo out to Jersey, right? He's a West Coast guy in the FBI. He has someone in Witsec that is living in this town under the FBI's protection. Now, what are the type of people that go into Witsec, right? If you watch Goodfellas, you know it's, you know, mobsters that dime out on their their quote unquote buddies and get protected so they don't get jail time. It's people that are their lives are in danger because they're a part of some type of crime organization, stuff like that. I don't know necessarily if it's going to be someone who is super powered because I don't feel like they need that help, right? Like we saw the situation with Scott Lang. He was under house arrest, was mm-hmm. under Witsec, he's still a superhero, right? He could just go small and bye bye. And those situations with superheroes, I think, is a lot different than a regular person or some type of person that means something. I think Dottie's a really good choice. I think Ralph could be on that page as well of Agnes's mystery husband, who she makes all these comments about that we've never seen and that we ne- we don't have an ID for, as well as Agnes, which I think furthers the Agatha Harkness line. But this person means something to this story because especially Marvel isn't going to put a person in a storyline and say, Hey, I'm agent Jimmy Wu. I am here because this person went missing. And this is starting off this entire story from this point of view, from this side outside the bubble. So that me, has to be something. Important. Let me go a little bit more into my Dottie theory, right? Yeah. Um, so I have two theories of who I think Dottie could be. I have to do in my research, right? The one big one is Mephisto. Right? What if Dottie's Mephisto? Right? The devil's in the details at the thing. Dottie is key. Even Agnes is a little wary of her. We do know Agatha Harkness does work for Mephisto, but it's not like a mind-numbing slave. She has her own well intentions. Maybe she wants to break out of this. Maybe she's trapped in there because Dottie wants it to be, right? So maybe mm-hmm. she's working against it. They, they could do a couple of different angles. The other one I've been seeing a lot of, and I'm doing some research, is that Dottie might be this character called Clea, who has direct ties to Doctor Strange. Yep. Clea is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you're going to know a little bit of this, but she's like a Sorcerer Supreme of the Dark Dimension. Yep. Right? So the multiverse of madness, multiple dimensions, if she's in there, or maybe she's the person who eventually turns into that character. Maybe we're seeing the beginning of her roots and she's key here. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she got put in a Winter's Protection Program because her powers are manifesting or something like that. I, I just. The, the whole line that Dottie is key to everything that goes on in this town and then the devil's in the details and all these little drops around Dottie, I think there's more to Dottie than meets the eye. It might not be Wu's missing persons, but it's definitely a fun theory to think about. When it, here's a shot in the dark. Yeah. What if it's Maria Rambeau? What if Maria Rambeau's in Witsec? The mother to Monica. Oh, Maria? Maybe one of she faked her death and is in Witsec because of Hayward, whatever connection Hayward has. And he was making all, like, maybe Hayward's the connection to Mephisto. And he's, like, making all these moves. And she's like, how is this guy doing this? And he's taking over. So they hide Maria for her own safety. And Monica the, figures the it FBI, out. Because here's FBI hides her. But then, but then why would the FBI ask for S.W.O.R.D.'s help to find her? Because she is S.W.O.R.D. Maria is sword. She created sword, but she doesn't have superpowers, right? Mm-hmm. Monica's the one that becomes the next, like, Captain Marvel 2, per se. And per here's se. the other thing, right? We know, like, at this point, we kind of know, in order to stop Wanda, there's going to have to be a massive fight. Because you're not stopping her. Because she is she is fighting already to keep this ruse up. She's She's blowing people out of walls. She is completely lost it she again this is someone who has lost everything post snap she's still the one that lost people right hulk couldn't bring back her brother he couldn't bring back vision because he's animatronic and not a real person he couldn't undo those things to her he couldn't bring back her entire city that gets destroyed in age of ultron her entire life Mm -hmm. right tony dies obviously to save them but everyone gets to have their happy ending cap gets to go back and be with peggy you know, Thor Thor lost a bunch of people, which obviously is awful. But 
he doesn't have a love interest at the time either. So so she's lost everybody. There's going to be some leftover anger and hatred of like, you brought everyone back, but no one could help me. So in order to break this, you're going to need someone of equal and opposite, somehow massive power to stop her. And that to me is either Maria Rambeau and the other person I've been asking about this whole time. I'm like, hey, Darcy knows these superheroes. Why are we not calling Stephen Strange into something this weird? Where is Stephen Strange? I they, think they might call. I think him. there's that a big be, cameo with him. Yeah, I, I think, think at the end there's going to be a big Doctor Strange cameo because it'll lead into his movie with her. I think so, and that that leads us into like uh, one of the final points that we wanted to talk about, Chris. Right? Episode five, the, the direct next episode. The reason why we're here doing this theory. What do we think is going to happen? Do we think it's going to be set in the '80s, or we're going to get another real world episode? I think we're going to get the 80s. I think we got our big real world episode. I think we're going to hit the 80s. I think we're going to now see, essentially, instead of all scenes in the sitcom, I think we're going to get most scenes and maybe one or two scenes in the real world of what's going on. I think instead of playing catch up like we did with this episode, I think we're going to get a more even distribution, maybe 60-40 or 50-50 even of what's going on. We're going to see in real time how they're reacting to what's going on there. And I think the blips and stuff we're going to see. I don't think we're going to see what happened to the B-Man in this episode. I don't know <laughs> when they're going to retouch uh, that. But I know the next episode is, you know, we're definitely going to see Wanda raising the babies, dealing with that. I think the stress of motherhood is going to cause her powers to go away. I think we're going to start seeing more and more slips and, like, breaks and people is, like, realizing what's going on. They're trapped. We're going to start seeing more cracks in the world that is Wanda. Vision. yeah i i agree with that too i think it's kind of cheating but i think it's a little of both you always know. He, you always you guys notice that he's always like rob it's it's your idea but it's a little bit of someone else well no I mean, it's just, that. it's that's fair. the logical explanation because we're gonna well, i think we're gonna go to the next time period with with her and her sitcom stuff right yeah. we're gonna go 80s i i think we're also gonna have a lot of you know you just they just opened the pandora's box into the behind the scenes of this stuff with the last episode mm-hmm and we're going into episode five. This is the midway point of the nine episodes. So I think we are getting a little bit of both. Maybe there'll be two episodes in the 80s because there's going to be a back and forth. But I don't know how you just go 80s and ignore everything that just happened. They could do that and make you wait an extra week. But I can't see some of this stuff not happening. I think Agatha is going to be way more into this. I'm I'm guessing this would be the episode with Halloween. And no, them dressing up. I think I think that's uh, the following episode, right? Is that nineties? I think that's going to be nineties because the reason I think that is because they're going trick or treating. I'm mm-hmm. assuming with the children. I think yeah, the, the children, children are going to age a little older. bit. Yeah. This episode, I think we're going to still get the because the whole sitcom of oh, I'm raising you two babies. Ho 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 ho. We're going to get that fun that's stuff. Terrifying. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> it's like Majin Buu raising kids. That's that's who I am. <laughs> I uh, I. I think that's a possibility. I, I think we could see either the babies still as babies, like you said with the sitcom trope. I can see them maybe like in the three, four range as well, maybe a little older, which I don't think the babies are real, by the way. I think it's completely fake. I think I think the babies are going to be real at the end of this. And I think also I don't the the fact of the Halloween episode. I think the Halloween episode is going to be a very big episode just because of the things we've seen around it. With Agnes saying you're dead to Vision. Exactly. Like so, that. like, yeah. we're episode, what, now four, right? Next yeah, episode go is five. five. And then we have three more after that or four more after that? It's nine episodes. Four. Right? There's nine episodes. Yeah. Nine episodes. So, epi- the, we're, like, the third, uh, a little bit, almost halfway, right? So Yeah, next I, ju- episode, I just said that. We were yeah, with yeah, just yeah, the halfway I'm point. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm, I'm dumb. All right? <laughs> you're happy now? This is legit halfway point. <laughs> we're at the halfway point. I think after the next episode is Halloween, and that's where we're going to get more big climactic things of what the hell is going on i think one thing we have to see in this episode though is at the end where monica gets blown out of there and she's like it's all wanda it's all like it's wanda it's all wanda and then we get that terrifying face Mm -hmm. reveal and the dead vision i think we have to get some answers of what the all wanda means even though it's stuff we kind of know but I think con- some confirmation on what that means exactly and how she's making this a sitcom, which I think we theorize, like, perhaps this was just playing on TV. And I don't think we're getting the went. why this sitcom. I don't think Monica uh, Rambo knows this. I think she knows that Wanda's doing this stuff. I don't think we're going to get the why sitcom in the next episode. I don't think we're going to get the why sitcom until Wanda tells us why. Do you 
think Monica's going to get her powers or start to get her powers in the next couple of episodes. No. Why not? I don't think they're going to make Monica powered in the show. Really? I think she might get powered down the line. Because Monica, uh, fun fact in the comics, she was actually Captain yeah. Marvel before uh, Carol Danvers. Yeah, you know? yeah. And she had her name like Photon and all this other stuff that you see in the HDR yep. eggs, right? These small things. I don't think she's going to get her powers this episode. I think that pulls too much away from WandaVision. I, I think that I think regardless of how they're going to set up for this final battle, because we do see in the trailers, right, where Wanda tells Vision, like, we're going to have to fight to keep our home. And they're kind of powering up to go fight. And it looks like modern day. Mm. I think they like regardless if it's Monica Rambeau or possibly Doctor Strange, which I think is a big possibility. I think we I think this episode that we just saw is kind of the partial origin story of Monica Rambeau eventually becoming Captain Marvel. I think I this, think it's a part of it. I think this sets up Monica like realizing that she's not as strong as she wants to be more. I think mm-hmm. she'll get her powers and stuff like that in uh Captain Marvel two. I think in Captain Marvel Maybe. two, like Carol Davis is doing a mission and Sword is out there helping. And I think she's gonna get her powers via cosmic radiation up in there. With the help of Carol Danvers. I think this is just introducing us to a great character, Monica Rambeau, mm-hmm. and making the audience fall in love with her and actually have stakes in this character. I think yep. they're going to slow burn Monica because they don't need to rush it because Monica sure, Rambeau sure. is more Captain Marvel character. So, like, we introduced this character we have this year. People know that she might get powers down the line. And, hey, another Captain Marvel in space doing all these crazy stuff. A Captain Marvel full sword while Carol Danvers is allowed to be free roam and go crazy. I think that's the direction that Marvel's going to do. I think that's the smarter thing. And I think, like you said, having Doctor Strange come in here, doing that cameo, because we know they're going to have big ties in the next movie. I mm-hmm. think that makes more sense and is also going to be more fanfare for this movie instead of introducing another new character with powers where we really don't have that stake needed. I just I just want to know who the Jimmy Woo person is, and that's what's been bothering me, and I've been going down rabbit holes for for the past three days, Rob. <laughs> that's what I want to know. Well, what we want to know is who you think Jimmy Woo is, uh, people watching at home or in the car or wherever the hell you're watching this. What are your theories for episode five of WandaVision? Watch this before you watch the next episode. And what are your theories for the rest of the show? We are the Jersey Comic Crew guys, and thanks so much for watching again. Please give us a thumbs up like. really helps the channel a lot. If you're brand new, subscribe. Turn on those notifications. You don't want to miss any more theories. You don't want to miss any more episode breakdowns, Easter eggs of anything we do. And like Rob said, we are the Jersey Comic Crew. Chris, Rob here, and we'll see you next time at Westview.